Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. Time for a tropical update quickie, 5 o'clock somewhere. We have something out there brewing in the Atlantic, Invest 92. Um, it's official. We have the NHC watching it. It's marked red, 90 per, or 70% chances of uh, formation. So the NHC, National Hurricane Center, believes this has a chance of becoming a named system. The next name on the list would be Brett. Uh, so we're going to go into some modeling here. We're going to show what the latest models, spaghetti models are, and kind of give everybody caught up to date on, on what's cooking out there in the tropics. First off, it's pretty far away. Uh, timing would put it close to the islands in about six, seven days. So if you're living in the Eastern Caribbean, it'll be nearing you towards the end of next week. So a lot of days to watch this thing uh, progress over, over the Atlantic. Um, quite odd. This is your... Uh, peak season map and you can see here in June where we're at right there uh, low numbers are you know going back in history here very low numbers for the month of June and uh, this is where we're at very odd to have a system that far out in the Atlantic I know I've touched up on that a lot um, but that's where we're at so usually peak of season is not even anywhere cl close to where we're at but this is happening because of this I know I shared this a lot I just want to show it again Water temperatures are just unbelievable right now. This is your anomaly map. This shows you the average water for the last 30 years, and what you know, if it, whatever they figure out is average. White is usually in that range. A little bit blue is colder, colder than normal. Oranges and reds are above normal. And right now, man, this main development region is smoking hot, four to five degrees above normal. That's why we're dealing with something that we normally don't deal with. Could mean a busy start to the season. All right, let's look at all the details of spaghetti models. Here's what it looks like out in the Atlantic. It's got clear spinach, just your lower level winds. Uh, looks amazing out there for early season. You can zoom way out. There's Florida on your top left, uh, the Caribbean, and then there it is, that little guy. This shows you lower level winds. Riding that ITCZ line, they call it the Intertropics Convergence Zone. Uh, winds from the south meet the winds from the north. And act, it definitely helps these little guys and get spinning. That's what it looks like. Uh, convection wise here on weathernerds.org um, not a lot of convection it's just firing away it takes time for these things to consolidate that moisture but it's got some firing here as the sun goes down not too bad satellite imagery shows a big broad rotation but definitely starting to get some uh, clouds roped in so it appears that it's it's definitely in the organizing stages all right tropicaltidbits.com great website for viewing these systems Spaghetti models um, available there on tropicaltidbits.com. These are all little different uh, computer programs thinking different scenarios, and it spits out a you know a plot every six hours, and uh, you know you use them a lot. And of course, I use them a lot on my site spaghettimodels.com and Mike's third page. But we can we can see the trend as a general tug to the north, um, getting awfully close to the Eastern Caribbean as we mentioned. So you know tight cluster of thinking here. Um, couple of them going to the north but overall I think it is a, a west northwest tuck rule of thumb is stronger systems usually have an easier uh, exit to the north weaker systems tend to go a little bit more to the west northwest uh, another plot on tropical tidbits is uh, intensity model guidance um, sometimes they're accurate uh, this one we'll see uh, but most of the models are predicting a stronger system Yellow is in the Cat 1 range, um, so you can see some of them are even uh, thinking about a hurricane. Alright, let's look at one more model plots here. This is your uh, European ensembles. I like these a lot. There's 51 different members of the Euro. And you can see looking ahead, there's two, two schools of thinking here with the Euro. The stronger system off to the north would be one camp, and the other camp is going to be a weaker system off to the west-northwest. And that's kind of what we're seeing here with the Euro still thinking that, um, you know, possibility. So not 100% guarantee this thing curves and misses everybody. Uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on it, uh, mainly, you know, especially for the Caribbean originally. And then we'll see if it gets any farther down the road where it could actually sneak and be a little trouble for more in the Caribbean, even Bahamas or Florida, who knows, that's a long way away. Um, but that's your latest, just not a lot of confidence yet. A lot of things steer steer these systems, I'm not going to go into it all, all right now, but 
upper level weather patterns change frequently and that changes the overall steering mechanism of uh, the storm. So, all right, so we're going to go back to tropical tidbits here. We're going to look at some individual models and uh, kind of get a sense of what the latest here on Saturday afternoon are. Um, again, if you like these videos here on YouTube, I really appreciate it if you could uh, share them and like. And uh, I try to do one every other day as we get the channel a little bit more uh, out there. So we are growing. We appreciate it. So here's the latest Euro showing <clears throat> Tuesday, 1,008 millibar low pressure. And, um, you know, almost straight west-northwest. You know, talked about it yesterday at our Daily Brew. We do a, a Daily Brew show every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, we're seeing a windshield wiper effect with the Euro. A couple of models had it going straight north, but, I, you know, caution people to react on every single run. We're starting to see more model consistency on this thing going a little bit more towards the islands. So the latest one just came out this afternoon, and it's showing a 1,002 system possibly into the islands. Um, that would be next uh, Thursday right here. And then Friday morning right there. And then it kind of weakens. There's a lot of wind shear expected, a lot of land. Not a lot of sign that this thing is going to be anything to worry about long range, but we never say never in the tropics. This thing, um, you know, doesn't take that path over the mountains and uh, goes a little north, a little south. It would, you know, have more time over the water. But there's your latest Euro. Um, GFS is not a very good model. I don't like it at all. But it is at least showing a, a bend to the north, but it's wrong more than it's right. <laughs> One more model we're looking at is the, the Icon. Let's see if the latest 12Z just came out. I like the afternoon model runs. That's why we usually wait and do these videos after the model run. They haven't come out yet. But generally, generally the same thing as the Euro. You'll see it um, low pressure area nearing the islands uh, this you know later next week. So that's pretty much it. Um, and you might have been spotting some things here at the tail end of a lot of these runs, uh, Euro, Icon, others. You know, if we're go if we're looking ahead, uh, there is signs that we can see another wave after this Invest 92 could be kicking off the season early this year because of the water being so hot. Um, one thing that you probably heard a lot of chatter about is El Nino. Uh, we're going to be in an El Nino summer. El Nino produces a lot of wind shear. Uh, some think that we haven't really started seeing the effects yet as El uh, Nino sets in. So we, we could be looking at an odd season where a lot of uh, early systems form ahead of peak season because of this water being hot. And then maybe by the end of the season, this is typically what happens during El Nino, um, fewer hurricanes due to wind shear. So don't get so wrapped up in this El Nino thing. I've talked about it a ton, how El Nino, we still had powerful storms like uh, Michael. We've had the 2004 hurricane season. So just because it's El Nino doesn't mean that uh, we're not going to have a busy hurricane season. It might mean we have less names, but plenty of history shows that we can still have major hurricanes during El Nino. That's one thing I'm cautioning everybody. So we start the season early because this water's hot. We still might end up with a lot of number uh, systems to watch. So, so there you have it. That's Invest 92. Uh, little tidbit the reason they call them invest are just investigative areas that they want to investigate they they start out each season in that invest 90 you go to 99 then it resets back to 90 there's no really science behind it we're at 92 the next system that gets investigated is 93 and when they invest the storm is when we norm we get uh, spaghetti models basically that's when the computer models start getting data put into them and, and we get the spaghetti models so all right, so we'll see what it's at. Long way away to be worried about anything, but, you know, hey, it is the season, and uh, we'll be on it. So we live Monday morning here on the Daily Brew. It uh, streams right here on YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. So that's at 919 Eastern, and uh, we'll see what Invest 92 is up to. All right, have a great weekend. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.